Testing. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Good evening. Or well, actually, it's not evening. It's the afternoon, isn't it? It's a bit early. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah you got there's a little bit of here, guys. Well, good afternoon, depending on where you are. We are here for a uh, No More Heroes game between Tom Johnson. Welcome. Hello. And TMT. Welcome. Hello. And I'm also joined here with actor Khan. Welcome. Oh, don't be welcome. Yeah, that's okay. Don't say anything, Khan. It's okay. He's there? No? No, he's not there. Okay. There he is. Doesn't matter. We, uh, we've we got, uh, basically, this is round two. Round two now of the No Heroes. Um, we've got some Rebel on I, I, Scum. I think, hello. I think my... You getting feedback? No? Sorry. I just, I, I'm back, I'm back. I switched to decent internet. Ah, that, that would do it, yeah. We're, I heard you for like in and out. Well, well welcome, welcome again, Khan. Yes, sorry, my, my apologies. If my microwave goes on, my Wi-Fi goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, you're microwaving I'm, the popcorn. And that, because I'm constantly eating, the microwave is usually always on. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. All good. All good. Um, well, tonight we're going to have Rebels on uh, Rebels on Scum. Um, do you guys want to... Uh, who, who, who's feeling Who's feeling lucky? Who do you think is going to win it? Timmy. Tom, I'm what do you think? Scum. Tim. I'm going for Scum. Tim, Tim's got his hands down. <laughs> <laughs> You think, you think I, I was so different. excited for round two, and then I, I saw what my opponent's bringing up. What I, I just had an actor moment where it's just like, oh, look at that filth, a filth. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! I love the fact there's a yeah. fang. Yeah. There's a there's like oh oh, it's bringing back memories of the old broken, um, broken ships. <laughs> I mean, those are contracted scouts. Who would run contracted scouts? Three of them with missiles. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is this has started. I gotta say, the event started bringing a lot of filth into play. Um, yeah. But anyway, all right. Well, look, we'll throw you guys in your own little room, and you guys can mm -hmm. get started, and then we'll take mm -hmm. it away when you, you you guys just go for it when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Good sure. luck to both of you. Yeah. All right. Just you and me, Khan. I'm just reactivating okay. our, your your redeem because I saw XY trying to redeem Khan. And look what we're doing. We're going to we're just for this. We're going to redeem XY. Where, where, where is my Khan? Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting, but I do think the scum list has got, got an advantage. Well, I don't know. Those Kashyyyk defenders can be a real, a real nonsense, nuisance. Right. Yeah, the defenders. Well, yeah, well, you, this, this is funny because you flew something very similar, like not an hour gone. Yeah, yeah. The double look. The double defenders are just super solid, right? Yeah. But but he's got. I mean, the auto blasters aren't really going to do too much in this game, I think. But he's got three tanky ships on the scum side, and if that fang fighter flies well, um, it'll be interesting. Um, who's got the bit? That's the interesting part. Um, well, we see we see Tim Tim putting down the first um, player, putting down the first gas cloud. Uh, so I'm going to assume he is a first player. Yeah, he is obviously first player, and he's got, you know he's got to be careful with his fang then. Well, yeah, it's, live life dangerously. But right, now, but you got to look at the um, you got to look at the uh, shadow caster. I mean, if he gets a shot off onto the, uh, I mean, there's not enough rocks, I think, to cause a problem. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the rocks get thrown out of the corners because nobody wants to be tracked onto a rock. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I was just looking for my overlay. Make sure I got the. Uh, there we go. All right. Now I can bring. Now I can actually talk about the list. Yeah. So um, we'll have a quick breakdown on the uh, the rebel side of things. So uh, we said TMT is active, it has the initiative. Yep, that's come up. So that's uh, 
why am I got things back to front? Okay. And we've got to do one more little thing. So we're kind of like, uh, there we go. That's going, that looks better. That's what's confusing me. We had the colors right, but the ship's wrong. Okay, so on the, on the left-hand side, we'll have a quick breakdown of the scum. Uh, we have two sets of the contracted scouts with the order blasters and cybernetics. Cybernetics is really good, I found. Um, and yes. we have a shadow caster with the title, so it can still do the tractoring. Um, it's not as nasty as um, Ketsu, but it's still it's still nasty enough. It's still and something you have to be careful about. Yeah, and as you mentioned, a, a Phyllis uh, a Phyllis Fang, good way to finish off finish off his list. And yeah, on the other side of the map, we have the E wing with advanced sensors, uh, events sensors, and R four. That gives them a hard one blue. It's a hard one white. Very nice, opens up the dial a little bit. We are also then seeing two of the Wookiee Defenders, which are very, very efficient. And lastly, we have a, a Parjan Renegade with Tack Officer for the White Coordinate. All right, they are still placing down ships here. We are almost ready to go. Just get the timer reset because we had that at 73. All right, let them, get, let them get the ships down. I was trying to play around with getting a little overlay squiggle, and it was working before I fired up OBS a second time, but, you know, these things happen. What can you do? Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I was playing around with it. It is a lot of HP on both sides. I totally agree. This is, um, though, here's the thing. TMT's beef is protected by two greens, but on the other side only has two red. Um, whereas Tom's list features more three dice attacks. In fact, four of them, four sets of three dice attacks. Who do you think? Who do you think is going to win the beef list? Or I should say well, the, uh, the, the. Well, I think the good thing is the way the rocks are set up. Tim's not that worried about the tractor. Yeah. The fang fighter is what he's got it watch for but the fang can't really get out of the ox because of that 180 from the um, from the Kashinks yeah sure well, that guy's in the middle sure the eight the U-wings in the middle and it's coordinating but really what's he going to do coordinate a what a uh, reinforce because they're going to focus the other guys yeah, that's that's what that's why I felt like they, he, he's going to try and use it for the reinforce to let one of them tank the shots. Um, yeah. But that said, the E wing could also be well. The E wing can be double monitored out of the bat because you can take long range target lock and then come up in with a focus. Um, so he's really there as a support for. I mean, he could also because they're all he's one. Got right? Yeah, all three of them one. And he's got advanced sensors, so it's. It's a tough. It's a tough ask, right? Yeah. Oh, I think I feel. It all depends on how well how well Tom finds that Fang. If you ask me, if the Fang becomes really, if 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 he flies the Fang really really well, that will just destroy some of those lists. That said, he's the the Fang's not going to like those gunboats, the Wookiee ships, the one hundred degree firing arc. The order blasters and the and those jump masters, I just feel like unless they really get in and cause blocks, they're not going to be doing huge amounts of damage. Especially that um, uh, TMT is able to block those jump masters, deny the mods when they've only got two dice attacks. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I think that those two ships are control ships, and mm. the problem with the control is that the Kashyyyk defenders don't care about the control. They're just there to punch. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. They're just, they're just there to slug it out. So, it, yeah, we're comparing with that reinforce could really, really... Um, he could also potentially just have a stop dialed in, coordinate the focus, and then stop the ship. So it's still there yeah. getting actions. And does he really care too much about the fang? Yes, the fang can be dangerous. But the problem the fang has got is the fang can't approach um, these guys easily. 
Yeah. Uh, because I can't. Interesting that he's, although there's going to be no engagements this turn, it's interesting he's running. Um, <laughs> Doing the fist bump there. Yeah. Late, late fist bump, but they got it. Uh, now, they've, those, they say those um, jump masters have water blasters at the front and they've got the turret turned on the inside. Yeah. So they do effectively have a 180 degree fire. The main difference with their 180 degree firing like it's a two dice attack. In no range three out the front. Look at that long range target, like he's come straight for the fang. Well he's a threat, you know, so he's gonna give that straight up to him. Um, yeah. I think, it, I think it really will come down to how much how much damage that fang fighter can do. I would have I would have happy to see it pick a pick a side to flank and like how to say commit earlier. As it is now, Tom's got all his ships looking, you know, coming down towards us down the bottom of the board, um, and all going in the same kind of direction. So it's going to make it relatively easier for TMT to to put the ships where he wants to go because they're only going to go in one one certain direction. With the exception of maybe the shadow cast that could possibly do a hard turn in and get in between the gas clouds, but I, mean, I would so. think that the, I think the shadow caster would do that at some point. It's coming in for I, I'm guessing that he comes into the centre. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, that's correct. Yes, uh, the uh, E wing took a lock on the Fang, long range target lock. Um, so that's just to just just to scare it. I'm not going to be shooting, not probably for another two turns, but it's just ready to say, "Hey, I know you're the big, you're you're, you're the scariest threat." Yeah, There's um, oh, the the e wing is is four. So and and that's TMT. So you're basically the fangs moving moving last. No. Yes. Yeah. No. The fangs moving first. The E wing is uh, moving last. E wing's last. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot Just, of E here, isn't there? There is. It's so chunky you can carve it. Just slowly approaching those uh, with the, with the, um, the scouts. I think TMT's okay with them firing in, fighting in the open space. Yeah. I'm surprised that there wasn't another set of rocks or something on the, you know, on that right side of the map or left side, depending on which, you, you know, Tom's side, where you know that those jump masters need to make those turns because that's the best part of the dial. Correct. Correct. You think we're going to see another slow move next turn? Or do you think. Uh... Uh, what, TMT? Think, TMT? No, Tom. Tom's on the right. Tom's going to go yeah. commit commit hard. I think Tom doesn't need to commit a long, uh, a short turn. I think the good thing that um, TMT's doing is he's making sure he's going to get shots with everything. You know, I think the Shadow Caster does boost into that little gap in the centre. Yeah. The Rogue Squadron needs to, to put his foot down a little bit and get in here because... You don't yeah, want to I think what I, out. Well, I, he could potentially though he could do advanced sense of boost and do a fast straight come down the center. He could also, uh, uh, off the top of my uh, looking like he's going to clip that rock if he does a fast straight. I think it might not, but it probably does. Yeah, um, I mean unless he does unless he does advanced sense of boost forward and then do fast straight over it. But I think he's that rock is very close to where it is, kind of limiting where he wants to go so in my opinion he will just escape that rock but that's a guess yeah. but it's pretty pretty it's pretty close uh it's pretty, pretty close i, I don't because I, I can't i without uh, setting up a different way i, I you guys the, the 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 stream sees what i see all the filth yeah. it's very very close but the problem the problem with the fang right now is the fang wants to get into range one and do fang things but 
that's a very dangerous move because it can only get into range one of one ship and the other yeah. gets and, the dream range two shot on him. And uh, also with the 180 degree firing arc too. Correct. So there's no way the Fang, I think, can commit to a five straight jump in at some point. Um, I think, I think, he I think he'll... Get he'll get he I think he'll bring. Those... Sorry, you first. Yeah, I, I think say, he's what? gonna have to bring the <laughs> You first. You first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he's gonna have to bring. He's gonna have to bring the scouts in, and I think he's gonna have to possibly put one going around the side of it. But he's trading a two dice attack for a three dice on the on. Yeah, and I think the shadow cast is gonna come in, and then the fang. Oh, it's. It, I'm not sure. Yeah. I just wonder if he even commits to bringing the Fang in this turn. Maybe like a hard one, uh, just hard one, and keep him back. Let let the let the scouts go in and take the brunt of the force. Um, because I think we're not going to see the the E wing come in, uh, at least come in to shoot the Fang um, if he commits going straight. So I, I, if he if he keeps the Fang back out of the fight this turn, um, and it it will stop if the Fang if the E wing does go, try to go hard and try and get a flank around the gas clouds. Um, he can then be there to. Um, yeah, I think you've got some, you. You got also remember. Although it is an only a two dice attack, if the shadow caster could tractor one of those guys, he takes that. Ooh, to pay. Very true. Very true. Because the shadow caster is going to shoot the same. Well, the same same order. So yeah. he'll want to. He'll want to get the shadow caster to shoot first to tractor his ship. And then, and then that one of green dice does nothing. And then those those, those true attack dice do do start to add up. Yeah, and the thing is, is he still, you know, he does, he still does his primary attack. He's just hoping that that title kicks in. Hmm. Because it just needs to hit at range three, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it just needs to hit. There's no range um, limitation. No, he's just in arc. When 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 he when they're in arc, both be, the it's primary got, it's be and turret, turret and front arc. Yeah, yeah. And um, oh, just a one a, a reinforce. We're seeing a uh, one straight reinforce, a two straight, and probably going to reinforce as well. Wow, interesting. He's, he's going not going for, not going for modded shots. He's going for the reinforce, yeah. and then he's possibly coordinating or he's taking a focus here. Yeah, oh, no, he don't. I think he's just trying. Uh, Tom is just looking at uh, trying to out survive. Yep. How big were Tom's? I wonder how brave he is. He's going to be with that. You see, there you go. That's that was yes. always coming. Yeah. Um, Three bank in there. Not the best position for next turn because it could potentially be bumped onto the cloud. But it does have a fantastic dial. This this ship. You can also five I mean, k uh, the 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 five k yeah, behind them. That five k is looking good unless uh, Tom spots it and does a stop. That's it. Yeah. So here we go. It's all coming in. Um, there's not enough room for fit, for for the fang fit, but, that's, the, that's the fang. It. but the fang's just gonna yeah. The fang fang wants to range control this. And two, it looks like two of the shots there are going to be through the gas cloud. So I think he should be just happy too. I think yeah, it's not the best. Yeah. I, I would be, I would be tempted. With the, uh, see, the thing is, the fang is very hard for it to get anywhere with that one eighty arc. Yeah. I mean, well, the other think... option you had with the fang was to hold it back and challenge out the. Um, Rogue, because the rogue was always coming in here. He's changing like the shadow caster. Interesting. Well, the other thing is the, the I think what I was thinking with the fang is that because it's got the one hundred degree firing arcs on those gunships, you really want to get past them and get behind them. Yeah, but it's super difficult because at this angle you're going to get shot at. But I suppose if you can survive it and get behind them, then it's a real problem. Hmm. Both shots are uh, obstructed. What do you do? Do you shoot, do you shoot the um, U-wing just to try and split, strip the focus? 
because once he's got the focus gone, basically um, Tom's only got one single mod I, I on a single shot. Purely, the purely because of the gas cloud uh, coverage, because the guy in the back gets a reinforce and two two greens probably yeah. doesn't do anything. Yeah, if you can and get rid of the Ewing, not, then then, then they the just, just rolling small on. Chance, a small huh? chance to strip the token. Yeah, uh, probably I would shoot the. Yeah, no, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone for the Wookie. The flying, the flying carpet. Just two hits. See, there's the two hits, and there's a real chance with three dice that he takes nothing here. Yeah, there you go with the gas cloud. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if he'd rolled those three dice on the U wing, he's taking a shield. The U wing would roll four dice. <coughs> oh, true. Yeah, it would have yeah, had an extra yeah. dice. Yeah, but the, but the may, reason you may, shoot it is to try and strip the focus have, anyway. You may have forced a token. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Again, he's got a lock. Is he going to spend that? I would probably spend it. No, he's not. He's saving it. Ooh, the Shadow Cast can do a 5k or something. He could be out there. So, Shadow Cast must, must shoot first because of the interaction the with the track. He's going to shoot at the yellow one, we think, and dra drag it forward, maybe. Mm. Get him into range two. Because he needs to be range two for the order blasters. Oh, oh there you go. Spent. Uh, he's got it. Three. So whatever happens, he's tracked it. He's, he's, he's taking one. Uh, he's taking two shields. Two shields down on yellow, and shields. takes a tractor. And he takes a tractor token. I mean, if he really wants to, he could put it gas cloud but I would be dragging it forward and just even it well, need, needs to get a range he needs to get a range two because the auto blast is only range two. Correct. Yeah so he's got to bring him forward to get shots otherwise. But he's and he's got two sets of shots. But at least he's in his firing arc so he can't um, so he can evade him. Yeah. But he's literally he's, down well, to one can't. agility. Yeah, he's, down because, yeah. No, yeah. he's down to one agility. He's down to zero. Yeah. He's down to zero. Yeah, he's down <laughs> to zero. <laughs> oh, he crit. Zero because it's tracked it. No, no green, just takes it. Tom's probably sitting there right now going. Oh, no, he so just takes it. The reinforce kicks in, so it still takes a crit. Yeah, he still takes a crit, so he's always just taking one off. But of course, it's a direct. It's a direct hit. So I was yes. right the first time. It's, it's just, it just takes two. <laughs> I knew I was going to be a direct hit. That's that's what it takes, was. It takes two. Yeah. Anyway. And he's going to get <laughs> and he's going to get hit again. He bullseye, so it's actually three dice. Yes, three dice. Three yeah. Dice. Takes two. Take, no, it'll take, take one. Takes one because of reinforce. Well, that's definitely advantage. Um, why is he taking two? He's got reinforce. Yeah. So, I, but I think there's a good good demonstration there. He's like, well, I just take reinforce in my defensive actions because um, a focus is not going to do anything again in defense. And he's uh, he had all the ships shoot, and he's still relatively healthy. Three well, the thing is, those three big base ships are super tanky. Yeah, he's only uh, struggling to put through the damage through though. One crit. You know, they could survive no damage here if they're lucky. Oh no, we got. Bends his toe. Bends his focus. Oh. Oh. Oof. Three hits there, uh, yeah, two Excuse shields down on the other way. Oh, good roll. Hey, that's what you want, natty roll. Just roll better. Oh, there you oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> natty on so natty. Because you're not the only one who can natty. Oh. Well, this is an interesting phase. So, uh, I think I think TMT got ahead on that. Nice. No, for sure, for sure. 
and the biggest problem he's got right now is if he doesn't stop the 5k if he bought if he does a ballsy 5k with the shadow caster um he's got a big problem because he's right behind it and he's yeah. going to be in the arc and, and the other thing is uh if he stops with the ewing to try and block the 5k then that ewing and attack officer he's got does nothing yeah with that said, the E-Wing would be in okay position to, to swing around the gas cloud and then get a shot on the blocked shake cast within. Then, but uh, that, then that, also... fan, that fan can do a one hard left and just park and prepare himself for the rogue. Well, the other thing is, though, is he's splitting up his fire. He's just stripped the shields down on the yellow um, scout. Yeah. So I'm a little worried in that he he's basically shooting what would it I guess is he considers the easiest target to shoot. Well, the yellow um, the yellow, the yellow um, uh, Wookiee is obviously burning. There's no reason why he doesn't shove the yellow um, uh, contractor scout and blunt the other one if he can, and it gets a range possibly a range one shot into the yellow. Yeah, with his turret. Well, all of all of the, the, the well, except, except for the uh, uh, Rogue Squadron, those three ships are going to move first. So we're going to see less mods, I think, for TMT this round. Correct. Less, definitely less yeah. mods. Possibly no mods. So the Fang has Fearless. That's all you need, right? I don't think the Fang wants to go in there just yet. <laughs> no, I think he's going to get rid of one of the Wookiees before the Fang can really commit. I would, I would, if I was. If I was TNT right now, I'd be turning my fang um, left and just basically bracing to see what would happen. Because I think the yellow is going to... Well, unless the yellow really pushes his, his jets, yellow is going to still be behind the gas cloud, so he's safe from, from that almost certainly. Hmm. Speaking of which... You changing your faction every every week? Who's that? Me? Yeah, for the No Heroes. Uh, I will definitely have a different faction next week, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So for uh, those who don't know, for those who don't know, the No More Heroes um, is encouraging players to play a different faction every week. Um, you get you actually get more prizes that way. It doesn't matter if you win, you go undefeated. You'll get you'll get you'll get less prizes if you don't change the factions, and. Um, so, uh, what was your what was your first week faction? I, I stuck with the rebels. I didn't change it. Um, oh, you didn't change it. Okay, so I rebels two it, weeks. But, but I will I will be changing it next week. Um, okay. uh, not that it will matter, but there will be lots and lots and lots of bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I flew dirty dirty scum uh, earlier today. Absolutely filthy. Oh, so he has done the stop, preempting that 5k potential. That's good. That's a good move. Here's the one straight because almost certainly bumps the ship in front of him. He leaves enough room for the shadow caster to to, to bump on the 5k. Because if the shadow caster bumps, and then hopefully he <coughs> won't have any shots, assuming of course that the, he does a 5k, he could also just do a one straight. Yeah, he might have just done a straight. There's a bump. There's the bump with the range one, which we all And there's an, another bump. Um, now, the question. The I question is going to be. Oh, it's on, it's on the gas car too. No, roll to crit. Lucky. No, no consequences other than loss of action, which you don't do because you bump, because you're not Zari. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Zari would get an action if she bumps, if she goes off the gas car. She should. Oh, oh it. He did it one straight. Okay, I like that. He's like, yeah. Didn't hit anything. Didn't bump anything. <laughs> I was surprised the yellow moved. I was surprised the yellow moved. But one would have been a bad thing for it now. Now, what's, what's the Fang doing? Is the Fang going like a hard one to try and catch the E-Wing? I think he's still messing around with action. Oh, okay. He's still, still on the show. I suspect he's going to focus. Yeah, 
Okay, let's see what the fang did. Yep, there you go. The hard one. Hard one. I like that. I like that. Probably boosts so that you've got all the cover in the world. Well, you would only yeah. You basically threw gas clubs Boost onto focus. the gunboats and out of um, the U-wing. Uh, more more importantly, there's uh, obstructed gas cloud shots from anything that he shoots at with the wookies. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a range one. That's exactly where he wants to be with the rogue. And because the E-wing was stressed, he couldn't do advanced sensors. Yeah. You just take the focus, I think. Oh. You've already got a lock on the shadow caster. You just take a focus. He's got yeah, a he's he's focus. Yeah. He's got to start. He's got to start protecting himself here. Because yeah, where's the, is the shadow? Did the shadow caster move his? No, I don't think he moved his. No, so he didn't move his uh, turret. Mm. There's four dice into the rogue with fearless. And who hey, needs who needs double mods? Fearless who and focus. Nah, no, I don't mind any. I just draw four natties. He's back to the fearless <laughs> for the future. <laughs> oh, hey. he needed those. He needed those. Two shields are out of there. Uh, that, 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 that's a pretty, like, after him rolling four hits, yeah, two, two natty evades is good. Now, the problem is, is you, I don't think you shoot the fang. I don't think that's a good idea. You've got to shoot the shadow caster. I think I, I almost think does he does he really want to continue shooting on the um? He's got a good shot. If if the E wing can do some good damage here, maybe put all guns on the shadow caster, take it off. Yeah. Hey, you spend the focus. Who did he shoot at? He doesn't. I don't know. It's two dice, so it's got to be the shadow caster. Yeah. And oh, oh, oh. blanks out. Yeah, Caster's going to take some hits. Ooh, hello from Peru. Welcome. We are streaming a Australian league. Um, no more heroes. This is like round two. Uh, and uh, the list requirements is, uh, obviously no heroes means no named pilots. We have so generics only. Upgrades are any to go. Um, so you can have the unique upgrades should they wish but the pilots themselves have to be generic. There is a limit to two of each chassis types. Oh, you're in, you're in the league. Oh, of course you are. So you know the rules. You know the rules. Two of each ship. One, one initiative for Only one, not, me, not, not two, not three, only one. So Shadowcaster is gonna go into that. He's going to the U-wing by the looks of it. Two, three. Three. I'm looking at the stream because um, we're slightly ahead of them. And uh, double blank. So that's uh, the shields down on the Y wing or the U wing. Three down. And he's, he's tracked it. He doesn't actually get to move. But, well, no, he's not tracked it because he needs two tractor tokens. Be two on two. Just the one. Will the U wing avoid this? Whoa, not evade. No, the U wing's fine. The U wing is fine. Hello and welcome. Uh, just another two on two. So can't if you were you do do you continue shooting and try and get the yellow off the board or do you want to continue shooting and try and get the uh, shadow caster off the board? Because I, I think yellow's think got a nice. The thing. shadow caster is the more important ship. Yeah, um, I think. But the problem with the shadow caster right now is he can't prevent the next five k. There's no way he can stop the five k now. No. But and that's where the ship's doing. The ship's almost certain oh. to the five k. So look at this, you because you, you can have all your ships now shoot the countercaster, all four ships. Yeah, I would try and, and take the countercaster out. Just one. 
Oh, but, but he takes it anyway. Shadow Cost hasn't rolled any debates. Oh. Yeah, that's what I, was, that's yeah. what I thought. That 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 uh, he has a range one shot there. Two crits. Two crits, two. crits galore. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Tommy needs him. Tommy needs him. Yeah. Tom will be not be happy about that. Yeah, so the shadow cast is just rolled nothing but blank. So getting so him on fair. the crits is the best time. All spins for three. Shadowcaster got out of jail. He's not dead. He's not. Uh, the question is, he's got only one tractor on the U-Ring, but the U-Ring needs, because it's medium base, needs two tractor tokens to be officially tracted, so it doesn't do anything on the U-Ring. Um, did he not just do three damage? I thought, no, no, he, was, he only did two. Oh, because he, did uh, he, he has a reinforced, not a focus token. Oh, he did that focus. Oh, but he does. Oh, yeah, and then he spent the focus on defense. Yep, yes, it's just yeah. one damage. Yeah, this is a problem now. The cape, the, the shadow cast is 100% doing a. Um, doing a uh, 5k, in my opinion. And then. And he's got, he's got cybernetics too to pop, so he'll be there with, with an action. And he's got, he might as well pop it. He's, he's in serious trouble. He might as well put some damage in. He can put it on. He can then. I mean, he hasn't even fired yet, has he? Uh, I believe he's got four left. Yeah. Yeah, taken four damage. Yeah, four, four left there. So he can K turn, he can cybernetics, he can take an action, he can shoot something. Probably one of the. Um, if he gets a shot off, one of the um, Wookiees. Uh, or he might just try and just push it all into the U E. Because the Ewing's pretty st stuck there, unless you know, I don't think he can boost out with uh, a four straight. Because I think what happens yeah, is think... those those two um, those two contractor scouts are happy to bump there and play the bump game. The the Fang probably does a two soft. Oh, does the two soft fit with that Rockies? Oh, I don't, no. know. don't think it does. The thing is, he's going to get he's going to get that uh, yellow Wookiee ship out past that. I mean, I don't think he's going to plan on just keeping keeping the Wookiee ship. I, mean, I think he's going to go over the ship. other op the other option is just um, he's yes, got to be careful because you know the uh, rogue could do a K turn or something. He's got advanced sensor, so he can take an action and then do something. Well, what about what about the Wookiee that's on fire? Do you just like do a two turn over the gas cloud? Uh, the Wookiee's might as well. He's got to do something because that Wookiee's going to get burned some, at some point. Yeah. If it stays where it is, it's taking a range one from yellow, and and the shadow caster possibly just tries to kill it. Just actually clarification here: the 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 um, Parjan uh, U-wing did actually take a damage, so uh, it's actually half points on that one as well. Running if he overshoots yellow and then decides red's going to do a turn in, like a two turn to the right. I think it might fit, so we can take an action, and then the the Parsian just bumps in behind. <sighs> yeah, no, but he'll still be in range one of the shot. That's a problem. The E wing could potentially just uh, have to do a hard turn in into try and initiative kill, perhaps. No, I wouldn't. You need four damage. Yeah. I can't. I can't see the E-wing being able to put three four damage short of doing a f fuel leak into direct hit. The two. The two crits that uh, was rolled by uh, the yellow Wookiee ship that was not evaded. We have the Wookiee commanders when you need it, yeah. Well, we, it's good we only see two of the two of the half of the flying carpet list we've got going around. Do you think we're going to see many of the um, the Wookiee ships across them? 
I'm not sure, you know. Um, I think you will see Wookiees. Um, I think you'll see... A, I mean, they do well. Four Wookiees and AP5 seem to be the flavour um, right now. And I think that they're super good. But you play any of those... I mean, you look at those new gunships, HMP gunships, things with bombs. You know, those guys suffer from those. Um, yeah. So I think they would struggle against that kind of list. Um, um, I'm definitely bringing an anti wookie list because um, I think there will be a few of them there. Because with the points change, you're going to see the drop of the Nantex. So it's going to be interesting. Absolutely. I like this. That was a three turn too. No, he did a two turn. He did three three turn with yellow, get behind, and then two turn there. And he just self bombs the the wiring. Yeah, and that's a that's the classic thing you do with the Wookiees. You do the or as I call it, the windmill, where you turn left and right with your your Wookiees. If you have four, you obviously do two left, two right, and you can still get arcs on things. Yeah. So. Ooh, we that's a shadow caster shadow caster cost me first so yes yeah, so he looks like he's got the 5k he's popping yeah he's popping the uh, cybernetics to do the 5k there he is also very very good play on tmt side of things to just you know see that the the 5k could be blocked and do a one straight it's always good to have the option like have the threat that yes i could do this but am i going to do this well, the and right thing was, the, what he did right was he did it on the first thing, and then he just took the he just took the hits, and now he's in a really good position because yep. they're sure there's two Wookies that can shoot him potentially. Shadowcaster probably dies here, um, possibly depending if the rogue has gone in. Uh, but if I was, yeah, if the, the rogue's gone in with a lock and a fo focus. Um, the problem is the rogue can't get into range one, so it's going to be out of range two. The other scary thing is if the if the rogue does turn in, those yeah, two. Yeah, um, there's an auto blaster, isn't there? Yeah, auto blaster, exactly. Then no, those guys are there to go. Hey, I'm going to shoot with the auto blaster, and guess what? Your three guys, three green dice won't matter if I roll a crit. I mean, the sensible thing is he doesn't go in because there's almost certainly just one straight that's coming off those um, those. Contracted scouts. Ooh, it's taking a lock. Ooh, hey, if the contractor scouts bump on the Wookiee and then the Wookiee gets tracked after the shot, then the contractor scouts can then still shoot that bumped Wookiee. Correct. Correct. Oh, filthy. Oh, oh he did hey. go for 4K. Yeah. Oh. He did go for 4K. Oh. He's got the cybernetics so he can pop it and he gets the bullseye. Look at that. He does not, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter when you're in it, when you've only got one green. It's going to be a range one. What do you do? Just say tiger lock, maybe? Ooh. There we go. Probably like top. Yeah. Now both, just clarifying, the yellow is pretty healthy, he's just lost shields, still got 6 health on the contracted scout, so it's unlikely that yellow is going to be able to burst him down. Um, yet, TMT is in a good spot there to remove, oh, it looks like he's going all four for the red. Uh, the gunship. Now, that's the only thing uh, so far we've seen. We've seen a lot of spreading out of damage. Ooh, yeah, so there's that the sloop that we saw that was coming. I, I would have turned the Fang away because there's no real way that the Fang can do any damage this turn. And now he's left the Fang where he is. He's not got a good shot at all and he's giving him the range to dream shot. Yeah. Are you shooting at the, at the Fang? Oh. Only one. Just the one. And he got it. 
And Madam, Madam Duke is telling me she flew 10 Nantucks today. No more Freddo Fog for you, okay? You have a Freddo Fog penalty. <laughs> I thought I thought she was flying. She told me she was. I thought you were, uh, she was flying. A, she told me she flew two A wings, Easy and Bluey. Who I just want to say, rest in peace, Bluey. You have uh, served me well, but with the new um, Heralds of Hope pack coming out, and like literally oh. uh, zero cost on the new Initiative One pilot. Merle Cobble is retiring Bluey, it seems. Nothing. So, the red, he's, he's, he's taken two shields and a damage. And a tractor. And a tractor, yeah. Which yeah, I think he's forgotten to do. Uh, I see a tractor taken down there, actually. Oh, you do see it? I see, I see, I see a tractor taken there. Um, but he's not going to move him because he's got a bullseye shot with the... Uh, and with the bombed one just does no damage. So it's going to be... Four, four dice with the water bus. Four dice with, with. Did he take a reinforce? No, he didn't. Oh! Look at that. Two crits. Oh, it could be initiative kill. Three oh, crits! Three crits. <laughs> three crits on a zero, zero greens. Here's the first one. Power disable regulator. That's. That's terrible. Uh, several. Stun pilot. Yeah, that's right. We we got we found stun pilot. Yep, yeah, power to have a wiggle out Nice and thank thank you though. Damage sensor ray. Oof. I mean, that, I say that could that that is pretty nasty. Well, the main thing is he's one. He's doing it one straight now. Next turn. Absolutely, and that shadow cast will go say hello, and then with the stun pilot, if he gets a tractor, he could almost tractor him onto the gas cloud. Uh, I think if he's smart, he might get. If he's lucky with the shots, he might kill the shadow cast here. Uh, he's only got. He's got two shots up. He only has two. And he's it is still two greens. Got to put him in the shadow caster. I, I think you got to take the risk. You got to risk it to try and try and kill it. You've got to, you've got to try and kill it, because right now he's well behind on the damage race. Yeah, and if he doesn't, then um, ready to pretty much guaranteed I mean, to be dead. I mean, it is a. I mean, was it four or five more holes ago? He's got four, four health left. He's got four health behind two greens. So he's going to be rolling three green dice on a. As long as he rolls okay. That's not well, okay. Not okay, but I think he did the right thing. I agree. Uh, you just needed one two. You didn't need to have two. Two's a little bit disrespectful. It's right. He's going to roll two crits. Two crits this, this roll. <laughs> I caught it! Oh, two crits are going to go in. So, as I say, you just need the fuel leak into direct hit. Come on, fuel leak into direct hit. Panic! Blinded. Well, <laughs> blinded pilot is you can't modify your dice, but you can't do it anyway because you're stressed. You're stressed. He's stressed. <laughs> so he's sitting on three stress right now. Yeah. He's and he's burning cybernetics. He's and burnt he's too He just yeah. literally goes one straight bumps and hopes. Because right now the well, the Ewing could potentially stop this turn and rotate. But the problem you'll have is that the um, shadow cast is probably going to bump the Ewing if he stops. Oh so yeah, you know okay. Say so he'll uh, move, move, move the Ewing, move the um, uh, jump master out of the way, and then have the um, shadow caster bump. Yeah, that makes sense. If he, if he really wants to, he could put the jump master and bump the uh, bump the Wookie if he really wants to. 
if I was him, I would just buck. I would just buck the because uh, he's going first after before the Yui. He just goes one straight bump. The the Wookie uh, two, will get two left. Break Red Wookie should have two left. Oh, sorry, I put it in damage. The in Wookie one, two, will three, yep, sorry. Two the left. Wookie Wookie will then have a range one shot, but then equally he's going to get a range one shot back, and his Wookie's virtually dead. Um, and then the shadow cast has got a shot in him as well. And then the if he bumps with the other yellow and just stays bumped where he is with those three ships, he probably takes one of the Wookiees off. I just worry with the U wing where he is, he's not getting shots if he stays in the uh, the direction he's facing. He's got to rotate. I don't like where the fang was because he's left himself no room for it to left. Oh, my bad. I did not set the time. I thought I did, but it looks like... Uh, what is the time left? Sorry, guys. Uh, 34 minutes. All right. I actually stopped it, and I didn't hear them. Terrible, guys. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, th thirty-three minutes left. Well, I think I, I actually think the way that the damage is going, it's going to be over before we hit the time. With the so well, with the exception of the the rogue on the fang, because the fang doesn't have exactly that many options this turn. Yeah, I was surprised the fang didn't barrel roll so that he can. Because I thought he would barrel roll the fang left. So that he can turn back into the combat, because right now the fan can't do anything. Yeah. At some point, out said send in the E wing to kill the shadowcaster. Yes. Yeah. Now that now that we doesn't have to worry about the order pastors, um, punching through the three greens. Now, to be fair, the rogue is worth sixty three points. The fang is only worth fifty. Take a focus. Yep. Yeah, he's got the no up. choice. Yeah. He has fixed the power to have a workload. Unfortunately, he can still only do damage sensor, right? The thing is, if this shadow caster hits and applies a tractor, it can just literally kill him. Even if he just gets one damage through, because I'm pretty sure that, that tractor will put him forward over the gas cloud, which will trigger stun pilot. So he just needs to get the shadowcaster just needs one hit one damage through. Again he just stopped. As, as I expected, the one straight yeah. bump, which because he knew he was gonna get range one shot by doing that. The shadowcaster clears one of the the bump, as we suspected. And in my opinion the other guy's gonna do the same thing. Yeah. There you go. Bumps there all around as expected. Two talent. Ooh. He knows he was out of the fight. He had to bring him back in. Question is, what's the race squadron doing? Oh. This would be a good time to shoot the fang. Range twos, best chance. Best oh, yeah. chance, no tokens. Don't boost in whatever you do. Well, you could pretend, you could possibly barrel roll back and take a target lock, right? It was only boost. Yeah, you can do barrel roll. You can, you can barrel, barrel target lock, yeah. But I think just, just either just a straight target lock. Don't, don't leave yourself stressed. Correct. Or take a focus. Yeah. I see the one going down. No, he's taking target lock. He's taking target lock. Yeah. So I was a little surprised that the Ewing did not stop and rotate. He just sits. He sits there. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Two from the ninety one. That rogue has rolled nothing. Not that time. That's half points on the rogue. 
Uh, Tim T is now basically got half on everything. Who needs mods? I have a target lock, but I won't need it. I'll save it for next turn. Oh. Eight, half on the half on the fang though. It's what he needed to just have it stay in there and have a chance. I, I, I agree that the E Wing could have turned in and tried to pierce kill the Shadowcaster. But I, th I think it was it was then quite scary just the amount of firepower that could have come into. If he failed at killing the Shadowcaster though, because it will be literally be just just the Ewing able to shoot the Shadowcaster, um, that he would have also been really tough for the following turn. So now it is TMT's initiative two shifts. Just waiting for TMT to make a decision. I think you got. I think you got to finish off um, uh, the Wookiee ship. I know that. Yeah. Oh no! Okay, he's turning the Shadowcaster. I thought he might he might choose red to shoot um, and finish off the Wookiee, just in case he finished, because the the red the red uh, one has bumped into the U wing. That's right. He's chosen. Well. He's choosing Shadowcaster. Oh, he's crit. crit! He's got him. Uh, no, just one crit. Uh, no, he's, he's got him. He's got him. And he's PS kills as well. No, no return shot. Purely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. See now this is now there's a problem because he can get an auto blaster shot into the side of the rogue. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like it's just in, doesn't it? Yeah. And it looks like it's a range two auto blaster, no defense if he rolls a crit. Oh. Or do you continue on yellow? Uh, I go for the, uh, if you can kill the rogue here, I'll take the rogue shot. It's going to be two and three. But if he rolls a crit, no safe. That's true. That is true. And one in four chance of guaranteed damage, basically. There he goes. Oof. Oh, just two hits? Who needs mods? Oh, you got one, you got one damage? That's that is, cool. that's still damage. Really that's still damage. Really I mean, you can just continue to shoot. Go, go for the other shot. Yeah, it's worth it because you could kill him. You nearly killed him just then. Oh yeah. Was well, his only shot? Oh, really? it's, not, it's not likely. It's, yeah, he's not no mods. Just one. There's a hey, four, four greens. Oh, roll like that. Just roll like that. He's, he's got it. <laughs> Oh, that, that feels bad. That feels bad. I'm sorry, Tom. That feels really bad for you. That's it. Game over here. Because yeah. now yep. the fangs are coming in. The other two ships are not tanky enough. Yellow has to finish off the Shadow Caster. So hopefully he just gets something on the Shadow Caster before he dies. Oh, wait. Uh, Yellow, yeah. This guy gets to shoot. Yellow gets to shoot still. Go on the shadow caster. He's got, yeah. he's got to go to the caster. He, to try he deserves. To he deserves death. Just, just to keep it even a little bit. Oh, oh shadow caster lives. He, he takes it at anyway, but that's that's rough. It feels bad. Seven. You know that shadow cast is just doing a five straight or just So question, with no knowing that happened, do you think he should have turned the E Wing in to try and shoot the Shadow Caster and try initiative kill? Yes. He needs to do something. Because yeah. his problem need... right now is 
He got he got two ships that don't move very well. Uh, he's got a Wookiee that's, Wookie that's going to probably bump because he, unless he turns it away because of the way the rock is and where the other ships are. He could just one straight. He's got one with flying on. Just one straight. Because the rock is the problem for the turn after. It doesn't really miss that long. And then he's got a load of issues with the rest of the squad because that bank fighter is like, you know, he's coming in. Yep. Mm. I did say at the beginning of the game before we got into the stream that I felt that TNT would win. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was the case. It's, uh, I, think, yeah, it I think I think he flew exactly the way he wanted to do it. He, he he wanted to get that tractor token off. He wanted to and he wanted to drag him into the into the range of the other guys. And he, that that was his trick, and he and he got it. Yeah, there's one straight from the Wookiee. Uh, that's, that's not a great move because the Fang Fighter. Well, I suppose he's got to throw the dice now. He's in all kinds of trouble. Because the problem he's got right now is the bank fighter is coming in. Oh, in a bump. He needs to kill the shadow caster and then. And so, going. this is where I would have turned the shadow caster left as much as I could. Tried, if I possibly could, to get an angle on the. Um, the Wookiee and then tracks the Wookiee onto the rock. Oh. This is why you're not a nice person. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> <laughs> because as soon as I thought where the Wookiee was probably going, I thought, turn the shadow caster left as best as you can, bump, and just try and get him on the rock. <laughs> you see, and that's exactly where we expected the fan to go. Yeah, because he basically he's probably going to lose a U-wing this turn. Three ships shooting um, at it. How many is left on the U-wing? Uh, uh, four. There with no mods. Trust. Fearless. Fearless and spend the focus. He could just die right now. Sitting on one, depending on unless that's a direct hit. Oh, that crit is going to be important. Fuel leak. Oh, best fuel, the best no, crit when, yeah. you're, when you're one left. The problem he does have though is there's two range. <laughs> there's rate one oh, the, 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 and the other guy. The, the chat's responding. Two. The chat's responding to your tracturing, tracturing the Wookiee comment. <laughs> just nothing nothing okay we might get lucky so we only had just one two dice attack unmodded on two greens oh three because it's range one two did i just natty it now almost so close but yet so far he's gone yeah poor tom oh and the red one gets a shot too oh he got the array i will say this though tom tom's when he's got on the bombs he's getting those natty hits whereas uh sorry tmt is getting those natty hits after the bomb um and tom is having his focus takers and just getting one paint Four dice should kill the Wookiee. Should kill the Shadow Caster here. Yeah, three three dice because only range two. Oh, it's range two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, range one on the um, on the yellow one. But no, you should be shooting the Shadow Caster. There uh, we go. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. He was hoping that happened a couple of turns before. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, yes. But he got him. He finally got him. Double crits. Believe it or not, that probably helps uh, TMT because that means that the yellow. Jump master can do something now. Two left. Has to Two good left. points left on a one agility ship. When he has to go over a rock 
or go left. I think I think left. that's just a three turn. I Yellow three bumps. Turn might be okay. A three turn bumps or two? I know two turn will bump. A three turn should be okay. Three turn will be okay. Um, might clip the rock, but it might not. It might, yeah, it might. Uh, but I suspect he's got to do that. But um, I mean, he might uh, just two turn the fang or two soft the fang and just take the uh, gas cloud. <laughs> he's giving up. He's giving up. I give up. You give up. <laughs> make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> oh, right, we'll quickly pull him in the chat. Pull him in, pull him in. See that? Welcome back. That's what happens when you bring a tractor to a game. <laughs> yeah, the tractor did work. The tractor did work. It that did is. work. Uh, we were uh, on the last turn, not the turn that you lost the Shadow Caster. I was sitting there going, Turn the Shadow Caster left and try and track to that and yellow onto the rock. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's tough because as soon as I saw the, the first turn and we saw the Shadow Caster move there, I said, He's doing a turn into the gap and he's going to try and track to something in front of those two ships. Boom, that's what happened. And the um the E wing did not know how to roll green dice. Very yeah. very rough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that E wing uh, that e, that E wing pilot needs to be fired because he doesn't know how to fly because he can't, that, that, he, can't he can't dodge any greens at all. Oh no, that that lone shot just up up you. Beyond the Yonder, and it's like, okay, I guess I'll die then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> it was like yeah, from the range three shot too. I was just like, after you got the the two dam the two damage in from the turn before, I was like, oh no, he's gonna shoot, he's gonna die, and it's just like, oh, there's only one hit, but it's four green. I'm just going, no, nah, he's gonna die, and yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was rough. Yeah, I think I think the Ewing did not. I think he rolled one squiggle the entire defense rolls. From all twenty odd dice he rolled, only one squiggle. No, he no no no. I lied. He rolled two squiggle. He rolled two on the, he he rolled two on the full on the, on the range one. Yeah. I mean, in this format, this is where the E wing actually shines and is you know um, worth He's something. Shining pretty, He's shining pretty brightly in space right now. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. <laughs> But um, oh. I've had a couple of practice games against uh, the uh, with the exact same matchup, and I don't know why, but that is a I have not beat that list yet. There's a lot of control. That's the issue. There's a lot of control in the list. Mm. The clearly the, the the most important ship was the Shadow Caster, in my opinion. Yeah. And, and the Shadow Caster hung hung around. A couple of turns longer than I thought it would. Oh no! Um, and it was yeah. just—it was just hanging around. You had some really unlucky reds with the Wookies to finish it off, and then you got <laughs> then you got a crit chain on your red Wookie, and I was like, "Yeah, this is bad. Uh, <laughs> all bad." Oh, that was yeah, and and because he had all the initiative twos too, he was literally denying you shots yep. by killing your ships. Yeah, you know, it became <laughs> super efficient. I looked at the, the, where the E-Wing, I said, the, uh, the U-Wing landed, and I'm just like, hmm, I might actually have a good chance of hitting that bank fighter. Then he boosted in, folks. I'm like, not anymore, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> very, very rough. Um, are you guys going to look at both changing your list for next week? Changing uh, your faction, yeah. oh, I should say. For yeah, sure. Yeah, changing my faction. I'll be playing the table for the next round. Mm. Mm. Playing the table. Oh. I have no idea which faction is going to be. Uh, Let's see how it goes. I'm ready to see Sorry? CIS and lots of bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said earlier, you're a mean person. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I, just, I, I, I have to think about tractor beams, right? Because... <laughs> They're just so 
It's so rude, really, when you put somebody on a rock and it's like, I'm going to deny you shots, I'm going to damage you, and potentially you're getting no action on the way out of the rock. Yeah. yeah. It, it feels good. I know that feels bad, but it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it feels something, depending on which side of that tractor beam so, you're on. So the, so the best one that I saw is the one where Darway nearly had an opportunity to bump Tan off the table. That that I was sitting there going, do it, do it, but he forgot he didn't have the ability. He didn't. He didn't realise he had the uh, ability with uh, Sabine to mm. do it. But that would have been that would have been good. Um, mm. That would have been quite nice. Yeah, hey, some... here's a question for you, mm-hmm. Khan. What do you think is better, with the AP five, the Wookies, the four Wookies with AP five, or the four Wookies with Sabine Intimidation Sabine? I think. Overall, you get more value at the AP5, um, mm-hmm. but they're both okay. good choices. They are both good choices because if mm-hmm. Sabine bumps something and you've got the Wookiees in front, that ship or whatever it is. I mean, I played the four Wookiees and Sabine and I bumped um, uh, Nim, and Nim, I actually delete Nim on one volley. Oh. Uh, um, yep. Now I got some really good reds, but he was on zero agility. I yep. mean, or what, one, yeah, it was just what you know. What I took one of his agilities away from him, and it was just the huge. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, okay, just curious, just curious. Leading up to uh, next weekend's event. Um, yeah, I'm still right, messing around yeah. what to fly. Yeah, I still don't know what to fly either. I mean, it's probably going to have some A-wings. <laughs> it probably. Really? But they're, 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 that's not what I've been locked in. It's a question of how many A-wings for me. I was, I was about to say, it's not, it's not if it's an A-wing, it's how many A-wings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about, um, I was going to say, is, uh, do Tom and Tim want to say anything before we finish off the stream? Mm. No. 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 No, um, that being, uh, I might actually say that I think AP5 is the better choice. You think AP5 is the better choice? Yeah. Yeah, I, would, I would. Sabine, if you make a mistake, <laughs> that's going to cost you. AP5, you're not making the mistake there. It's yeah, and, a quarter and you, get, and you get a better value out of AP5 because AP5 will give you something in every game. Whereas Sabine, yeah, yeah. if you get the wrong matchup with the wrong PS ships, Sabine will do mm-hmm. nothing for you in some games. Exactly, and you can coordinate a stress ship so that the Wookiee can stop, block, and still get a action. Yeah. Or you can go on a rock and move. Yeah, yeah. Red barrel, you can coordinate a red barrel rod too, and then, or you can move to a red barrel and still coordinate an action. Yeah, oh, lots, those things have a barrel? Yeah. They do. <laughs> oh, you, know, well, you know, the ship that you've just been barrel. flying? They don't, they don't have a barrel. They're, they're, not, they're not that good. They're not that good. Yeah, you don't bring them for the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, the good thing about them is, is that that coordinate is just, you know, sometimes a Wookiee gets a little bit too eager and he gets a bit too far forward and you can give him a uh, reinforce. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, uh, it's just, we, we, I'm just happy there's going to be less Nantex, less Nantex next weekend. Or, what, well, you know. the, new, the new point's are live, so I think you'll see the, that anyone who brings Nantex is going to really struggle. The only one that works is now five PS3 and a PS2. Uh, that fits if you want six. So oh, I, think, I, think, I think five with still the crack shot and marksmanship, or sorry, the crack shot predator loadout, it's still pretty solid. I still think it's a solid list. It just yeah, doesn't have the... the um... It's the six that made it difficult. Five yeah. changes it up a bit. I think you'll see a significant drop in Nantex because people mm. are going to realise it's just not going to be up there. So for the people that aren't following that, what happened? The the points, points went up. Well, yeah, points went up. So across the board for the that, Nantexes, or just the low, the low initiatives. The, initi- the initiative three, initiative four went up to thirty-three and thirty-four points respectively. So you can still technically fly six Nantex, but with yeah. a like a, basically. 33 points over 6 leaves you 4 points worth of um, bid. So you can put 4 points worth of upgrade on 6 ships. Uh, mm-hmm. Which means 4 of them can have marksmanship or you can just take the bid. But it means you don't have the crack shot, which is the thing that makes them scary. And you no longer initiative 4, you're down to initiative 3. Yeah. Um, and and 
and to be fair to FFG, Max did a very nice um, uh, communication to, you know, he did a nice announcement. He was very careful and, and on, on why they made those changes. So, so, and I think everybody in the community was expecting that. So that's good that they did that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay. and, 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 and I suspect what will happen is they will review it after a little while and they may even take further action. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. Mm. Yeah. Definitely needs mm -hmm. to stop in the right direction. Anyway, guys, um, we'll finish up things there. Thanks for everybody for tuning in, and uh, thanks to our players for playing, and uh, Khan for joining us for commentary. It was great. No worries. Had fun.